Hi everyone, how's Trix? How is all doing? Um, today I'm going to replace the Ringfield motor in my Class 55 here, my Lima Class 55, with a CD motor. Uh, much the same as I did for my Class 33, uh, for exactly the same reasons. It runs fine, but it won't pull away very smoothly. So, you know, at some point I thought I would do this conversion at some point, but I wasn't really in a big hurry to do it. Uh, however, a chap called Richard, uh, who runs a website called diesel-trains.co.uk, uh, got in touch with me and he uh, offered to send me free of charge a CD conversion kit for my Class 55 and also one for my 156 and one for my G50, as well as a couple of packets of traction tyres. So a massive, massive thank you to, to Richard from dieseltrains.co.uk for doing this. A uh, hugely generous offer and you know, obviously the least I can do is give his website a bit of a plug. So the link will be in the description. Uh, go and check it out. So uh, in this video I'll be doing the Class 55 but I will be doing the 156 and the G50 as well at some point. And uh, when I do the G50 I'll be adding some extra pickups so that'll be quite interesting. But Let's get the Deltic to the bench and do the transplant operation and hope that it runs as well as my Class 33 now does. So before we get started we'll have a look at the kit itself, just to see what we get. Oh. Right, we've got the motor, um, which is already in its little uh, 3D printed mount and it comes pre-fitted with this uh, little pinion gear. Now with the Strathbiffer Junction kit you not only have to fit that yourself, you've got it to, you've got to cut it to size yourself. So, uh, you know, that, that's much, much better. Um, the quality of the 3D printing isn't brilliant, but, you know, it's just the mount. It just holds the motor in place. So as long as it serves its purpose, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we've got some extra wire, which could be useful. We've got some heat shrink insulating tubing and we've got a voltage dropper. Uh, now again with the Strathpepper Junction kit, that's an optional extra, you have to pay extra for that. Um, I won't be using it, I don't think it's necessary, uh, not for me anyway. So for what you get for your money, this is a much better kit from dieseltrains.co.uk. Right, okay, let's get at it. So, take the body off. We shall unclip that. We shall tip the weight out before it falls out. And then we can undo the two screws here to release the motor. And then the motor bogey will just lift out. Alright, okay, so what we need to do is take all the gubbins out of here, replace it with that, connect up one wire to the pickup wire here, and the other wire will go to the other bogey. So I should say that uh, on the website there are instructions you can download uh, to help you if you're going to do this. Um, it's pretty straightforward though and uh, just reading through the instruction the only thing that would have caught me out I think is on this particular motor the instruction is to connect the red wire from the motor to the unpowered bogey and connect the black wire to the powered bogey. I would have done it the other way around, so I would probably have uh, made my locomotive go backwards. Right, so we shall dismantle and just carefully remove the brushes and springs. I'm going to use the bag that the, the motor came in to keep all the, the ring field parts, just in case I ever want to put this back together. We shall desolder like so. And then we'll take this plate off. Take that off. And then this should just come out like that. And then we can uh, remove the magnet. On this bogey, unlike the Class 33, we've got a middle wheel, so uh, you know it's kind of blocking the magnet. So I think I'm just going to pull this middle wheel off. So to pull this middle wheel, uh, normally I would have just stuck a screwdriver underneath and just leave it off, but because the, the chassis on the Lima uh, models is, is plastic, I don't want to do that. 
Um, so I'm, go I'm going to use this. This is a guitar spanner, uh, quite a useful tool, and it should just fit under the wheel like that and allow me to leave it off. Easy peasy. Now, if I remove the pickup, you can see I can now get access underneath to the magnet in its little housing. So I'll stick a screwdriver behind that and it should just come out nice and easy. So I think we can make use of this little hole at the top of the casing here just to feed these wires through like that. And this should, in theory, fit in like so. So everything's moving nice and freely there, so that's all fine. So we can screw this in. Just making sure the, the mounting plate is, is sitting flush against the, the casing. And that all moves nice and freely. So we're good. Okay, so I'll refit the pickup. Slide that under there. Like so. And then we'll refit the middle wheel. Just put that through there. Push that one on gently. And then we can use the back to back gauge to make sure we've got the right spacing and then just squeeze them together. Alrighty ho, oh, now we need to connect uh, the wires up. Just slide on some of the heat shrink insulating tubing there and then I'm just going to wind that wire around this wire bit of solder to join the wires so I'm just putting some foil under the wire just to protect the gears there while I give that heat all right I think while we've got this uh, boogie off we shall fit some new traction tires because these ones do look a bit old. Oh god, yeah. Just use this little screwdriver like a tire iron. And there you go. We fit that. Put this back on. Spot a solder. Right, I've just realised something. I've got this power bogey on the wrong way round. Oh, what a diddy. So, of course, I could have edited that out, and you'd never have known that I fitted the, the bogey the wrong way round. But I'm perfectly happy to put my hands up and say that I made mistakes. Everybody does. Right. That'll go now. Let's put the weight in. Get body on. Right, okay, let's go put this on the layer and see how it goes. Right, let's put it on. Oh, it's away the wrong way. Uh, ah, polarity. Uh, the, uh, the instructions did say to connect the red wire from the motor to the unpowered bogey on this particular uh, version of the, the Lima Ringfield motor, but I think it should be the other way around. That should be going forwards, and it's going backwards. It's otherwise running the key, so we'll have to go and reverse the polarity. Yeah, it's definitely uh, wired the wrong way around. Right, so very quickly, I just swapped the wires over. Uh, the red wire now connects to the motor bogey, and the other wire connects to the unpowered bogey. Right, I nearly forgot to oil this up. So I need some oil in that bearing there, and we'll get some oil into the, the new pinion. Right, let's go and see how this goes. Okay, there it is, sitting in the sun. Right, let's turn the power on. How's it going to run? That's much better.
So there's my Lima Class 55 Deltic, uh, the 5 and 4 for Yeomanry, now running with a CD motor, thanks to Richard from diesel-trains.co.uk. Uh, very pleased with that. Again, thanks so much to Richard for providing those kits. Um, I'm looking forward to doing my Class 156 and the J50, and uh, we'll see what happens with those. Meantime, catch you later, folks.